Hi everybody. Today we're going to go through how to create a new contact in Xero. Now, unless your client is already set up as a contact in your Xero file, you will need to complete this step first before creating an invoice or a quote. So you have two options um, on how to create a new contact. You can either click on the contact tab up here and then go into all contacts and then new contact. However, I do find this page is probably best to view or edit all your existing contacts. Whenever I'm creating anything new in Xero, I like to click on this create new shortcut here, which looks like a plus symbol. So I'd click on that and then I'd find contact. And this will pull up Xero's add contact form, which we will need to fill out. So you can go into a lot of great detail here if you wish, such as putting in say a website or an ABN, um, you could even put in financial details if you have them. But for today's example, I'm just going to show you the bare essentials you'd require. So we'll put in a contact name, which can be either a business entity or a personal name. Um, and then we'd want to put an account number. This is optional, but it is very helpful um, to identify your clients and also when you're searching. So I might put that in. I then put in our main contacts name and email address. And then I'd put in a phone number for them as well. So I'd also want to make sure I'm putting in an address for our contacts. If they are within Australia, you can start typing in here and zero will prompt you with an address. However, if you're having difficulty locating your address, perhaps there's a unit number and it's not picking it up, or um, it is outside of Australia, you just click on this button here, enter address manually and fill that out. But for today, we'll just select this address here. It will prompt me to confirm all those details are correct. If it's the same as the delivery address, keep this ticked, otherwise untick it. It will ask for a second address. I'm gonna add that. And once I'm satisfied that all these details are right, I'm going to click save and close. So zero will then automatically pull up that contacts file. Um, but you're done. This is essentially how to create a new contact in zero. From there, we can start creating new things in their file. But thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy your day.